Well, good afternoon from Snake Mountain Boatworks. On Saturday, January 24th, late in the afternoon, following a workshop on the Dutchman Patch that Snake Mountain Boatworks led today for the members of the Lake Champlain chapter of ACBS. This may seem a little bit odd to begin this video at the end of the process, but I felt it was a great way to introduce, introduce the idea. You can see the, the end of the process first, and then, then we will segue into uh, some content that John and I put together on Friday night as we were beginning to lay out this Dutchman patch, which you, will, you can see behind all the clamps. Uh, within the uh, blue painter's tape. So that will be next and then we will pick up this morning when John led the clinic and you will see this space that is now empty and silent full of members participating and I think even though this particular video is going to be much longer than is typical for us and certainly is typical for YouTube, I believe that the whole thing when taken together will provide uh, some excellent content, some ideas, and maybe even uh, some information that will help each of you when it comes your turn to use a Dutchman patch on a restoration project. In fact, I was challenged during the, the project. Why don't you just replace that plank? You could do it easily. You got a bunch of mahogany here. I, yes, we do. We have a bunch of mahogany here. That mahogany was uh, delivered in 2010. We've air dried it since then. So it is, what, four years old? Maybe it had been at the bolter plywood in Massachusetts for a year or two, so let's give it 10 years old. This is a 1930 Dodge Brothers runabout. That mahogany you're looking at, if I do my math correctly, is 84 years old. You want to put new mahogany on that first topside plank? Sure, we could do it. And what would we have? We would have a great piece of mahogany to use for future Dutchman patches, and we would have destroyed this boat in the Snake Mountain Boatworks world. We use Dutchman because this Dutchman, which is one of the largest we've ever put together, will save 95% of this plank. So yes, there will be a patch, there will be a repair. Oh, by the way, the mahogany we're using for this Dutchman was mahogany that we were able to salvage from a failed plank in a 1940 pre-war uh, Chris Craft runabout. So let me end this section now and put together sort of a series of vignettes that taken together will introduce you to the Snake Mountain Boatworks way of doing Dutchman patches. This uh, clip is being recorded the night before the January 24th workshop clinic on Dutchman patches and John is preparing for tomorrow's clinic by uh, sanding and preparing the surface and seeing what we have found. So I will just hand it over to John at this point. Well, I found that someone had uh, actually probably crashed the boat right here and they refixed, they did a, their own little fix on this crack in the boat. And in doing so, they had this block of wood glued to the inside of the boat. Of course the block of wood is flat. 
So when they screwed the side of the boat to the block wood, it just sucked the side planking right out of shape. And then they had put a little bit of glue in there. So when they sucked it out of shape, they actually made it, they glued it out of shape also. So now I'm breaking it free. And because the crack is still letting in water and it's a broken plank, we're going to put a Dutchman in it. So I took that out. And then I put a block of wood behind there because it's been pulled in the wrong shape so long that it's holding it there. I've got a block of wood behind the planking holding it in shape. And then seeing the Dutchman is going to go all the way from the end of the crack here to not only the crack right here but this other crack starts right here and goes all the way back to here. So our pulled Dutchman is uh, the whole Dutchman that we're going to put in is actually 39 inches long and it's kind of got a wedge shape to it for the reason we do a wedge is uh, so we don't have to have an end, a straight end cut for one thing on a Dutchman it just doesn't look right an angled cut looks much better but someone had screwed that block in and they have screws in the middle of the plank that are inch and a half apart. So my Dutchman is actually going to cover up their screws, their screw holes, and the crack so I don't have to bung the center of the plank on the side of the boat. So then we took this long straight edge and we found where we would make a nice mark right straight all the way down through missing the screw holes and clearing the crack all the way down through and up on the top we did the wedge thing to clear to hit the point on this end of the bottom and to miss the screw holes so it's kind of wedged and flat and wedged again and my next move is to gouge it out the planking is probably three-eighths of an inch thick to a half inch thick, so I'll probably get, gouge it out three-sixteenths to a quarter inch for my uh, Dutchman. My Dutchman will be that thickness plus a little bit extra for sanding it in. So wow. tomorrow's workshop will put the Dutchman in. So we'll be, John will be uh preparing this this evening and tomorrow morning we when we have the workshop we will have already he will have already routed out this area and rough shaped the uh, Dutchman in place.